Hi, I'm Jen. Um, I was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis about five years ago. Um, at that point, it was pretty rough. I um, didn't know anything about the disease. I talked to my doctor and it, we decided I needed a colonoscopy. Um, and actually things got quite worse after that. I lost a lot of weight. Um, I was a hairstylist at the time, so I was unable to work. I actually had to take a couple of months off of work. And that's actually when I was able to research different, you know, different ways to heal other than medication, because that's what they told me is that you, you would be on medication for the rest of your life. And, um, you know, there's really nothing they could do. Uh, diet didn't have anything to do with it, that sort of thing. I'm also a mom. So, you know, the stress of trying to juggle long hours at work, trying to study um, and being a mom, you know, lots of stress comes with that. So, mm. yeah, stress was a huge part, I think, in, you know, developing this and kind of, you know, falling in and out of feeling good and then, you know, going back into flares. I could immediately feel like the smoothies um, soothing my inflammation. It felt like so cooling. So I knew I was like, oh my gosh, this feels good. So I knew that that was the right thing for me, you know, you know, the mental aspect of it. Um, it was so nice to have you there to be able to say, you know, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Cause that's, I've have such a hard time. I think mentally, um, I'm really hard on myself. And I think having somebody there just tell you, don't do that. You know, it's not going to help you. It's, you know, it's just going to make things worse. You need to just keep moving forward. You know, that was a big, a big help. And it, a huge thing in my healing, um, was the mental aspect, you know, just trying to be more mindful of my thoughts. Um, you know, stuff like that, just on a daily basis. Um, so I was on the medication for about a month. Um, they had given me a month's worth of medication. It was budesonide that I was on. Um, so I, I mean, I was feeling good, but I could tell, you know, this is helping me, but it's not, you know, it's not going to be good for the, for the long run. It's just getting me to a place where I can, you know, help myself heal more. Um, so at, at about a month, I was, they wanted me to go on it again for another month. Uh, and I was about to do that just to wean myself off. But I just felt, I felt bloated. I felt tired. I had no energy. I could tell something wasn't right. And I knew it was the medication. Um, so I was like, I'm just going to start weaning myself off now. I, you know, I was having headaches, just very odd symptoms that I knew you know, I, and it almost was like, well, what's better? You know, all these other <laughs> uncomfortable symptoms, you know? So I weaned myself off and really, I, I think I had a couple really bad headaches um, because I kind of weaned myself off a little quickly. But after the, a couple of days, I really just only started to get better. And uh, the bloating went away. I had more energy. I started, was able to exercise, which felt so good because I'm so passionate about you know, exercise and um, fitness. So that really helped. And that also gave me like a mental boost, you know. I noticed right away that when I start, to, when I exercise my, you know, the fatigue afterward or the soreness, I don't really have that anymore. Uh, it's amazing, you know, cause that's so, that feels so good. You're like, oh my gosh, you know, my body is healing quickly and, um, so that, I love that aspect. I mean, every everything about the plant-based diet is really just great. I mean, my family eats this way too. My husband, it took him a little while uh, when I first started years ago. Um, it took him a little while, but he's he's right on board too. My whole, my kids and um, I'm able to do whatever I wanna do. It's great to just be patient with yourself. Um, don't be too hard on yourself. It's it's not an easy thing to to heal from an illness. You know, it's it's it seems easy when you're at the end of it, but when you're in it and it's mentally draining and physically draining, and um, you know, it's it's hard. So just be patient with yourself.
um, never stop trying to heal, never stop, you know, don't give up, <laughs> just keep going. And when you find a program like this, I mean, it's the best thing for you, I, I feel. Um, so I would definitely recommend anybody trying, you know, Shamiz and Shakul's program. Hey guys, welcome to another video. It's testimonial time again, and we have the lovely Jennifer here who has been willing to give her time to share her journey on how she has been able to recover from ulcerative colitis on a plant-based diet. So let's get started and let's talk about uh, Jen's story. Obviously, you know, the drill um, diagnosis, um, what her healing was like, uh, and what her li life is like now. So let's, I guess, start off by introducing yourself, Jennifer, um, and talk about your diagnosis, and uh, we'll go from there. Hi, I'm Jen. Um, I was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis about five years ago. Um, at that point, it was pretty rough. I um, didn't know anything about the disease. Um, pretty awful symptoms. Um, I guess it started out with just the, you know, the usual of what people say is, you know, constipation, um, blood in the stool. And so I talked to my doctor and it, we decided I needed a colonoscopy. Um, and actually things got quite worse after that. I lost a lot of weight. Um, I was a hairstylist at the time, so I was unable to work. I actually had to take a couple months off of work. And that's actually when I was able to research different, you know, different ways to heal other than medication, because that's what they told me is that you, you would be on medication for the rest of your life. And, um, you know, there's really nothing they could do. Uh, diet didn't have anything to do with it, that sort of thing. So how did that how, how did that make you feel when the doctor said this is what's going to be your fate or this is you know you're going to be um, taking medications for the rest of your life and did you even think about diet at all did you talk to the doctor about diet and could you tell us what you were eating previously and I think you mentioned something about stress being a um, mm. I guess trigger for your symptoms being a, a hairstylist so yeah I guess talk yeah. about your feelings on on that. Um, so I, obviously I felt awful. I didn't really know much about the disease. Um, I considered myself to be pretty healthy before all of that. Um, I was actually studying to become a personal trainer. So, you know, I considered myself healthy. I was trying to eat right. I was exercising. I was eating a lot of meat, a lot of protein, chicken, especially, um, and I was a hairstylist. So the stress, you know, the stress of that, um, the long days, the long hours, um, the constant, you know, trying to satisfy other people. Um, I'm also a mom. So, you know, the stress of trying to juggle long hours at work, trying to study um, and being a mom, you know, lots of stress comes with that. So, mm. yeah, stress was a huge part, I think, in, you know, developing this and kind of you know, falling in and out of feeling good and then, you know, going back into flares. Yeah. yeah. So what was it that kind of made you go, hang on a second, I don't want to live like this and I, and I want to really change what my life is like? I mean, you obviously talked to the doctor about a lifestyle change or a diet change. And what, what did he say about that? Uh, well, he actually didn't give me much time when I was after the colonoscopy. He really kind of handed me a, uh, a paper and said, this is what it is. You know, you can find more online is what he said to me. And I was kind of shocked, like, oh, so I've got to find out more about this on my, my own, um, which I'm kind of glad he did, because then I was able to be like, oh, well, maybe there's other ways, you know, um, but yeah, I mean, I just, I went home and I was depressed. I was, didn't know what my future was going to hold. You know, I had kids. I, I was excited about life before all this. I had things I wanted to do. Um, yeah. So. Wow. Yeah. So, okay. So what, 
what was it to kind of what led you on to find us and and when you did find us what did you what did you think what did you feel yeah um well at first i i didn't find you right away i kind of researched a little bit and i came across um this specific carbohydrate diet um and so i did start that because anything else sounded better than taking medication you know forever um So I did do that, but, um, I could tell that just the meat and, you know, I didn't think about that at first. So just anything, anything bothered me, anything I would eat would bother me. But I, I remember having a a certain, uh, recipe out of the book and not feeling good, like immediately not feeling good. Um, I did go to a holistic practitioner who also kind of referred me on to like the bone broth and lots of fat. I remember eating like bacon and eggs for breakfast and feeling like, okay, if I can have this, you know, and I never ate that much of that stuff even before, you know? Um, so yeah, she, she just, she said I should have a lot of fat and I guess it's because I had lost so much weight, Mm. but, um, that didn't feel good. I remember cooking, you know, going to the store and getting like bones so I can make bone broth. And it was just disgusting. It was so gross. And I was like, but if this is going to make me healed, you know, and then finally I just kept researching and that's all I could do because I was so sick. You know, I really couldn't do much else. Yeah. Wow. Um, that's, that's, that's amazing how, you know, this, this food that you, that people are advising can literally, you know, will kill us you know by heart disease diabetes cancer stroke all these foods all these high fat foods have shown to increase our risk of these diseases and increase so many other problems within our body and and yet you know these professionals are suggesting it and it's it's quite sad because you're in that you were in that position and you know it's just mind-boggling to think that you know eating bacon more bacon or more fat would be the solution which is just Oh, I can't even, <laughs> you know, that's the last thing that you'd want to be eating when you have um, a, a gut disorder. So, okay, cool. So, I mean, what kind of, yeah, then led you on to, to finding us? Yeah, I came across uh, one of your videos and I remember the first video I saw was you were eating a burrito. <laughs> I think it was like a, you had obviously healed at this time, yeah. but Um, I was like, oh my gosh, she can eat a burrito and I want to have a burrito, you know, like a rice and beans. And I was like, oh my goodness. And so then I kind of just kept watching certain, you know, I'd watch video after video and I'm like, okay, well maybe this, you know, I never thought to not eat meat or anything like that, but the smoothies, I, I needed to go back to work and I was desperate and I was about to, I didn't really take the medication when the doctors had given it to me, I kind of was thinking about it. I was trying to do other things. So I was like, I need to go back to work. I'm probably going to, I should take the medication. I have to, you know, get better. So I did start to take the medication, but I also found your video. So I was incorporating the smoothies. Um, I did notice the medication made it worse. Like I, I was seeing more blood when I would go to the bathroom and I was like, okay, so that with the smoothies, I think just kind of helped. I could immediately feel like the smoothies um, soothing my inflammation. It felt like so cooling. So I knew I was like, oh my gosh, this feels good. So I knew that that was the right thing for me, you know? Um, Mm -hmm. But I did stop taking the medications again because I noticed more blood and I was like, I'm just going to try these smoothies. And I kind of just, I went to work and I was not really well and I probably shouldn't have gone back to work, but, um, I pushed through and I just kept, you know, eating, I'd see videos of potatoes and just certain things. So I kind of try to do things on my own and I'd go kind of in and out of flares through the past few years until I decided to join the program. Yeah, that's right. And you obviously found David Klein's book as well and and you understood, um, yeah. Yeah, and you understood what the body was kind of going through. And I guess um, there, there was a point where you, you obviously were going through and your symptoms did increase. So do you want to talk about that? And, and you were kind of coming from a, a really 
unhealthy lifestyle and obviously then going on to the SCD diet, which made your body probably even more toxic and even more unhealthy. So talk to us about how your body responded when you started, you know, getting into this a little bit more. And I guess, you know, when you started with us, um, you know, you were already quite sick. And I think mm. when I first talked to you, I said to you that, let's not focus too much on what the book is saying, you know, because we want to try and get out of this idea that, you know, the healing diet needs to be done in order for you to heal, which is not necessarily the case. And we do have some wiggle room. We do have some freedom. Um, so talk about your, I guess, your experience with the, with the healing diet. And I guess you, you did see some relief initially, but I think it was quite hard for you to carry on, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, again, I, this was a pretty bad flare and I was like, I needed to do something. I was like, I can't keep going on like this. I want to, you know, I want to be better and stay better. And so I decided to do the program, but at that point I was already, um, detoxing pretty much. And, um, I had lost about 20 pounds when I started. And so I was very weak. I was having a hard time mentally trying to stay on a diet because I felt like I just wanted to eat so bad because I lost so much weight. Um, so there was a point where, um, I needed to take medication and, you know, just, I got to a point where I was like, I'm, I can barely function. You know, I couldn't get out of bed. Um, mentally I was like foggy uh, not much energy at all to even cook food. I relied heavily on my husband and, you know, lots of fam family members and friends who helped me out, which was really great. Um, but I just needed to get to a better place so that I could focus on healing and that medication did help. So I did start a little bit of medication just to kind of give me a push, um, in the right direction. And, and that kind of helped that's, that started me off to my healing. That's right. And I think this is where people may not understand that we're not completely against medication. You know, it is necessary when, when our bodies need that help. And I think mentally, because you were so drained after doing so many things that you just needed a little bit of freedom. And we were there to support you through that process. We weren't going to tell you, oh, no, you failed or whatever because you're taking medications. You know, that's absolutely not what, you know, we think. And, and I think people that are watching out there please don't think that we're against medications okay because we're not we're just not against. we're just against medication for the rest of your life you know you don't need to be on this for the rest of your life and if it's needed you know we we will advise you to talk to your doctor and say look let's work with the diet and i think also we did introduce some other foods because i think you know Plain, the plain sort of restricted restricting diet from the book was kind of holding you back a little bit. And I think, I think I remember telling you just let's not focus on that at the moment. Let's just try and get as much food inside of you. And I think you started feeling better about that and just opening up your diet a little bit more helped you a lot. So let's, yeah. I, I guess, talk, talk us through what you were going at, through at that time and how you found a kind of new sort of, push or drive to kind of get better because again a little bit of the medication sort of started helping you as well um, so talk about that experience and how you were feeling at the time yeah um I guess it's just because I was so drained you know I was so drained with energy I was so drained um emotionally that I need I felt like I just needed a little bit of a, a crutch something to just give me that um, push. And I mean, I did feel a little bit defeated. I felt a little bit like a failure because I was like, I'm trying so hard, but you know, I just, and, and you reassured me, which was really great that don't feel like that. You know, sometimes you need to do this. And that really made me feel better. I was like, he's right. You know, the mental aspect of it. Um, it was so nice to have you there to be able to say, you know, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Cause that's, I've have such a hard time. I think mentally, um, I'm really hard on myself. And I think 
having somebody there just tell you, don't do that. You know, it's not going to help you. It's, you know, it's just going to make things worse. You need to just keep moving forward. You know, that was a big, a big help. And it, a huge thing in my healing um, was the mental aspect, you know, just trying to be more mindful of my thoughts, um, you know, stuff like that, just on a daily basis. Yeah, and I think it's a great point that you you bring up because a lot of people think that, you know, oh, if they don't go through this healing diet or whatever, they're never going to heal and, and all sorts of things get inside your head. I think what we have mm-hmm. to realize is that we have to support our body in any way possible, mentally and physically. Okay? And if that means that we really just shift away from the diet a little bit, introduce other plant foods, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And that's why... You know, the book is a guide. It's only a guide and it's not the end all. And I think that's why working with us, you know, because of our experience kind of gave you another light that you could kind of go, hey, maybe I can introduce some other things. And obviously, you know, I, I've i been through a lot with my journey and initially and, and, you know, making a lot of mistakes and doing things. And I think I've learned a lot from that. And I want to give that to you, you know, that experience. And that's exactly what happened. And I said to you, look, don't be so hard on yourself because I think you do get into this perfectionist mindset when you read the book because you're like, oh, I can't eat this and I can't eat that. It's not going to be good for me. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I think that pressure that we put on ourselves is really unnecessary. And that's what I kind of, I guess, told you to kind of just slow down on on being that perfect self and and just mm-hmm. be with accept your body for what it's doing and, and just continue each day as it comes because it's each, each day is going to be a new day and things are going to start to get better and they obviously did and it's amazing because you know we the medication was helping the diet was helping the mental health was was helping so there was like a combination of factors that really got you out of this this flare or that got you to a point where you started to get your energy back and you started to feel better again. And let's, I guess, how did you feel at that point when you started to get like your strength back and stuff like that? You could start making your own meals. And then the, the, I guess the, the change in the healing diet where you'd, you'd be adding some flavors and adding some herbs and spices um, and vegetable stock and things like that. How did, how did that make you feel? Um, So talk about that it kind of just gave me that extra push. I was like, as soon as I started to feel better, I was like, okay, now I can, you know, really focus on, you know, just eating the right foods, um, being able to maybe be a little more, uh, experiment a little bit more with what I could eat. Um, also just, uh, the, just feeling better in general was making me feel like, okay, we're getting there and I can keep doing this. And I love this food. And, um, you know, I just, it just got better and better every day. Really. Yeah, and I think that the book Fiber Fueled helped you a lot, didn't it? Because that kind of reinsta- yeah. re- reassured you that, hey, plants are the, the best thing for my body. And I think, you know, introducing a few different things ha- helped you a lot and um, taste-wise as well. So, um, cool. So then I guess let's fast forward a little bit. Your body was starting to get a little bit better. Um, you saw that, you know, there was you know, progress happening. Uh, and then I guess you kind of started to feel like the medication wasn't helping you at, at one point. And I think, you know, while the medication got you to a, a, a bit more of a stabilized state of health, talk to us about what you did in the next steps. And, and I guess your thought process and I guess what your doctor and, and what you did with, with that, um, that cons- consult with your doctor and then you know, let's, let's go from there. Okay. Um, so I was on the medication for about a month. Um, they had given me a month's worth of medication. It was budesonide that I was on. Um, so I, I mean, I was feeling good, but I could tell, you know, this is helping me, but it's not, you know, it's not going to be good for the, for the long run. It's just getting me to a place where I can, you know, help myself heal more. Um, so at, at about a month, I was, they wanted me to go on it again for another month. Uh, and I was about to do that just to wean myself off. But I just felt, I felt bloated. I felt tired. I had no energy. I could tell something wasn't right. And I knew it was the medication. 
Um, so I was like, I'm just gonna start weaning myself off now. I, you know, I was having headaches, just very odd symptoms that I knew, you know, I, and it almost was like, well, what's better, you know, all these other (laughs) uncomfortable symptoms, you know, so I weaned myself off and really, I, I think I had a couple really bad headaches, um, because I kind of weaned myself off a little quickly, but after a couple days, I really just only started to get better and uh, the bloating went away. I had more energy. I started, was able to exercise, which felt so good because I'm so passionate about, you know, exercise and, um, fitness. So that really helped. And that also gave me like a mental boost, you know, just some confidence. Yeah, absolutely. And, and and I think this was a, a really key point here to make is that, you know, while the diet, was helping you initially and it definitely you know kind of pushed you along the way um as well as the medication sometimes we have to make a choice and go hey well is this actually helping me anymore um Mm -hmm. do i still need to take it because obviously you were feeling you know not not right and you know we we don't have to keep taking something and and live in that fear and i think this is a great point to to bring up because i think a lot of people do have anxiety around this disease and how it might come back or, you know, all sorts of things like that. But I think what you have learned during the whole program is about how you can actually heal yourself. And this is the main point here is that, you know, Mm -hmm. if you do feel uncomfortable, you know what you need to do, you know that, okay, maybe I'll just clean up my dial a little bit more and like relieve myself if I get any issues again. And, And that's, what's really key here because you, constantly eating the foods as a baseline you're constantly eating the healing diet foods you're just adding to that you know so you're still eating lots of potatoes um, sweet potatoes squash um, you know all these beautiful fruits vegetables and and even the the fruits obviously but you're adding to that and i think that flexibility just gave you this go forward that you needed and i think now you know you're realizing the power of plants and how you know, a plant-based diet is so effective, not only for your, your gut health, but for heart disease, diabetes, cancer, stroke, Alzheimer's, and you're reducing the risk of these things. And, and knowing that just gives you the sense of relief that, hey, I'm putting in the best fuel for myself. And not only are you, or not only does the research and the evidence back you up, you're feeling it, aren't you? You're feeling right. pretty amazing right now. And I think I talk am. about talk about now and what your life is like now and how just your life has turned around completely from, you know, being in a flare, doing the SCD diet to Mm -hmm. coming to a plant-based diet and seeing this massive change in just overall body. Yeah. Uh, I noticed right away that when I start, when I exercise my, you know, the fatigue afterward or the soreness, I don't really have that anymore. Uh, It's amazing, you know, because that's so, that feels so good. You're like, oh my gosh, you know, my body is healing quickly. And um, so that, I love that aspect. I mean, every, everything about the plant-based diet is really just great. I mean, um, my family eats this way too. My husband, it took him a little while uh, when I first started years ago. Um, it took him a little while, but he's, he's right on board too. my whole, my kids and, um, I'm able to do whatever I want to do. It's great. Um, and it's, just it's easy, to right? It's, it's easy. Um, like, there's nothing, there's nothing hard about doing this. There's no like, like crazy recipes or, or, you know, fermenting something or, you know, waiting for right. something to cook for ages. It's just, mm-hmm. I mean, this is, this is why we want to kind of teach you this because I mean, it's, it is probably the easiest lifestyle you could live. I mean, and it's also very cheap. It's not expensive at all to eat this way, isn't it? You know, And yeah. I think, yeah, talk about that. Yeah, no, not at all. I mean, fruits and vegetables, beans, you know, rice, all that stuff is very inexpensive. Um, so that's great, obviously, um, not having to sanitize everything because of, you know, raw meat or anything like that. That's amazing. Um, smoothies are easy. You throw it all in a blender, you know, one, uh, one dish. Um, yeah, it's great. 
And it's fun. There's lots of different recipes, different ways to cook things that, you know, so it's great. It's fun. Now, there was one point where you, you, pro you didn't like bananas, right? I think everyone goes through this, this phase where just, um, you know, you, you just don't like the smoothie anymore. You have a lot of nausea and stuff. But now mm -hmm. um, you can't go without your fruit meal, right, in the morning? Yeah, no, absolutely. And it's getting warmer here too. So it's it was like 80 degrees here today. Wow. So it's so nice to have that cool smoothie in the morning, you know. Yeah. Yeah, nice. And, and I think you, you'll continue to do this for the rest of your life. You know, I mean, I don't see why um, you would change anything. You know, if something's working well, you know, keep it going. And I think, um, right. I guess the last point I'd like to make is how, how was the support, um, I guess, going through this? You obviously needed it. Um, so I guess just, yeah, re reassure people that that was really key. And, and also talk about... Um, yeah, just what your goals are and I guess what advice you'd have for anyone else. Okay. Um, the support was amazing. It was, you know, it, I really needed that. I had support from family and friends, but it's different when they don't exactly know what you're going through. You know, sometimes they would be like, well, why don't you just eat? You need to eat. You need to be on medication. And they're all coming from a good place. You know, they want to see you better. It's hard to especially my children, you know, to see them um, seeing me so sick. It was really hard. Um, but I knew in my heart that if I went down that road, if I was going on to just medication, that I would regret it in, you know, years or whenever, how long it would take for it to actually affect me in a different way. Um, so the support from you guys was great. It was so nice to be reassured um, to be guided in the diet, um, and the mental aspect of it, you know, just kind of reassuring me that way as well. That was a big deal. Um, yeah, that was great. And, and, and what advice would you give to anyone else? And, and like, what are your goals? What do you, how do you see yourself, you know, in the next 10 years, I guess? And, um, yeah, well, I guess what, what advice would you give? in the next 10 years, I see myself eating this way and being healthy and, you know, continuing to uh, keep healing my body. You know, I'm sure that there's plenty of healing to do, um, you know, trying to be mindful um, of my mental health as well. And just doing, you know, living my life, mm -hmm. doing the things I love to do. You know, that's where I see myself. Um, I guess advice that I would give is to just be patient with yourself. Um, don't be too hard on yourself. It's, it's not an easy thing to, to heal from an illness. You know, it's, it's, it seems easy when you're at the end of it, but when you're in it and it's mentally draining and physically draining and um, you know, it's, it's hard. So just be patient with yourself. Um, never stop trying to heal, never stop, you know, don't give up, <laughs> just keep going. And when you find a program like this, I mean, it's the best thing for you, I, I feel. Um, so I would definitely recommend anybody trying, you know, Shamiz and Shakul's program. Yeah, fantastic, thank you so much. And I guess just to um, ask you uh, last last thing, uh, in terms of your bowel movements now, uh, you have no issues and, um, you know, I don't think you've ever had this kind of digestion before. Um, so I guess talk, no. talk about that. And I guess you, you know, what is your digestion like now? It's amazing. You know, I don't have to rush anywhere. I, it's kind of consistent. So I know, you know, when I need to use the bathroom, so it's not, um, it's normal, you know, um, yeah. Uh, it's <laughs> it's a bit amazing. of a touchy subject sometimes to talk about, but yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, this is this is what happens when you start to when your body starts to work better, when your microbiome is is mm -hmm. getting you know balanced. Yeah, exactly. Um, you feel it and you see it in your bowel movements, and when you have good digestion, you know that your body's working really well. Uh, you know, and I think that's what's really key because you've been to a place where your digestion wasn't good, 
you know, you were, mm -hmm. you know, ha having bloody diarrhea and mucus and all sorts of things were coming out of you. And now yeah. that you're eating plant foods, the beautiful, you know, give me more fiber, right? Yeah. <laughs> give me, give me as much exactly. fiber as you can, you know, and, and that's, yeah. that's what we should be training our bodies to be eating. You know, we were designed to eat plant foods and, and the more plants we eat, the better we're going to feel. And are you on any supplements at all except for B12? Uh, just B12. Yeah. yeah, fantastic. So there's no real deficiencies in a plant-based diet. If you do it properly, you're not mm. going to see any of those deficiencies. And, you know, there's five right. things that we recommend, right? So it's obviously the food, the exercise, the sleep, the, the stress, and the water that you drink. So all these things Jennifer's really understood, and she has definitely... Um, you know, taking control of her health uh, in all those aspects. And uh, it's been an amazing journey for you. I'm so, so happy for you. And, and it's only going to continue going on this way, you know, because we know how our body works now. We know what to put in it. And uh, mm -hmm. I guess we don't need to take any medications for the rest of our lives because we know that the body is working really well. It's never worked this good before. So obviously something is working, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> Um, so, so yeah, I guess, um, thank you so much for sharing your journey. I'm sure, I'm sure someone out there will be in this position and it's great to see that a person has, you know, come off the, come off the healing diet and, you know, explored mm -hmm. a little bit. And this is where the, the, I guess, individual coaching comes in because not everyone is going to be the same as you. Um, and, and their journey is going to be slightly different. And if we need to take some medications, we absolutely do need to take some medications and we're not against that. And we're seeing it here, um, you know, firsthand on how Jen was, Jen had to take a little bit of medication to kind of get her body back up and running and then slowly come off it because she wasn't feeling very well on it. So, and then, you know, Eat, still eating plant-based and making sure she gets all the good stuff in there so that her body performs and functions the best way that she wants it to perform. And I think that's mm -hmm. a really key point to make is that, again, we're not against medications. It may be needed and some people may need to go on it. So um, I guess that we don't need to rely on it, let's just say, and, and not have this fear right around, am I going to get this disease back? Because that fear mm -hmm. creates more problems for the body right and i think that's where you've really gotten out of that state of mind where you um, mm. don't have that anxiety anymore right right exactly yeah just to keep my mind um in a good place and know that i'm fully capable of healing and staying healed and you know don't let that fear um affect me you know and what was one of the books that you read that kind of really helped you with your mindset as well? What was it called? Um, it's called Cleaning Up Your Mental Mess. I, cool. I don't remember the author. Um, yeah, I'll post it in the, in the description below. Yeah, 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 yeah and that helped you as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think we talked about a lot with, um, with mental health as well. And I think with the book and, and what I was telling you, I think both kind of gelled together and, and you started to, sort of understand hey why am I doing this to myself if it's not necessary you know because sometimes we can panic we can get into this frame of mind where we think the worst case scenario and I think a lot of people do that and let's not do that and let's because we can't assume right we can't assume what mm. what the next day will be or the next hour will be so we have to really focus on the moment and I think you're starting to realize that and you know, you may find just stressful situations later in your life, but you'll know how to manage them a lot better now because of what you've been through. And I guess one of the most important things as well is that you don't take your life for granted anymore. You know, I think this, this healing journey of yours has really solidified this idea that, you know, you are so grateful for your life, you know, and, and this is so important because it was the same for me as well. And I'm, I'm just so grateful for having food on my plate, you know, and, and, going to the bathroom properly you know not mm -hmm. you know have, getting blood and mucus and stuff so you know it's right. been it's been fantastic that you've been able to find that for yourself you know and um yeah I guess do you have any last words to say um just thank you thank you for your support thank you so much for everything you know it's I'm really lucky to have found you and um, 
I really hope anybody else takes advantage of this opportunity to heal and, you know, have a better life. Well, thank you so much, Jen. It's been an amazing pleasure to work with you and to give you my experience from my own healing journey and, and overcoming ulcerative colitis. And I think you know what you need to do now. And that's exactly why we set this up so that you guys can do this by yourself and, and really mm -hmm. take control of your health and understand what foods to put inside of you that are going to enhance everything in your life, you know, even your athletic performance. And now you're getting into the exercise a little bit more. You want to be a personal trainer, which is only going to benefit you and, and be the example, you know, for all those other people out there that are struggling. And I think not only the people that have colitis and Crohn's disease, you know, there's so many other people that you can influence and you can inspire to eat this way because you know how it feels, you know, what you put in your body has a massive effect. And I think this is, this is really key. And uh, yeah, I wish you all the best for the future. And obviously, you know, we've become friends now through this journey and um, it, it's great to see you and uh, see you doing so well. Um, and, you know, keep in touch obviously and, and keep obviously me in check and like make sure you check in um every month um just to see how you're going so book in a meeting when you can and um yeah all the best to you and your family and uh thank you so much for sharing your journey with us um i'm sure someone will take something from it and um yeah take care of yourself thank you so much shamiz <laughs> so yeah